In the news today, after shocking the world, Sam Marine has announced he will be taking on the world of bikes in MotoGP. He also would have to begin at the lowest formula. After the practice session at Lausanne, we await what's ahead for the Welshman as he tops the timing sheets in his first ever ride in a racing bike formula. He took to the track where he struggled at first, but at the end of the session, he got the grips of things. The Grand Prix of La Salle will begin very shortly. So make sure you tune in and find out what we have in store. Hello everyone, yes this is indeed qualifying. Obviously we are riding around the uh, the track here, which is going to be awesome uh, for the race. So if you want to join me for the race, it is today. So once we get qualified out the way, we can obviously begin the race. If you have not checked out yesterday's episode. I, I highly suggest you do. It was practice, which was incredible. So, yeah. As you can see here, I ran out of fuel. Hopefully that is not the sign of things to come. As we begin to see who is first. And Pedro Acosta is first in the race tomorrow. As you can see, we are not that great last position. But, Laseo International Circuit welcomes Motor 3 Grand Prix. Hopefully we can get things going. And hopefully we are about to begin here around this incredible racetrack. As you can see, the uh, participants here in 7th here, we've got McPhee. Good driver here, he's a good rider. Uh, we have got a lot of riders here, and as you can tell, we are looking okay for the race. Uh, it's a gorgeous weather condition here around this track. Obviously, we have got a good race ahead of us, so Qatar hopefully we can get going as they give the Doha. signals the here at the uh, track. Let's try Let's try <laughs> at the racetrack, and here we go for the five red lights. And it's go, go, go! Fantastic start from Sam Green himself, but he's getting overtook here by a, the car in green the, the uh, bike in green but that's about it but he goes off Sam Rain is off he's off he's off now he's back on track here at the uh, the uh, racing Grand Prix here we go he is trying all he can to uh, get back in this in this race but as you can see he is a bit far back from the car from the uh, bikes ahead of course and uh, he has been given a track limit warning there Sam Reen. obviously he use, is used to racing in four wheel cars without any track limits or anything but that is his first one in his career in bikes and so he is going ahead and he is taking these corners really well I may say so, so hopefully we can keep on going here, we've got a, uh, we've got him going left, we've got him going right, and uh, yeah, so uh, he is currently for uh, 9 seconds behind, so he's, a far, he's quite a few seconds behind, but he, I guess, got a lot of stuff on his head. At this stage we have got 25 seconds 
the gap is from the sec the next carter, which is going, he's going off here, but he's just guiding that bike through the corner, which is fantastic for him, and uh, yeah, so he is absolutely, uh, if you can tell on this, on the uh, timing, he, uh, he's, basically doing so poor that he's 25 seconds behind he is the Mazepin of Formula 1 racing of course so uh, yeah he's taking it steadily around these turns and corners which is understandable and uh, yeah so hopefully he can do something here um, in terms of I don't know but anything but uh, yeah so he is at this stage 53 seconds uh, in this lap of course he is not going on the racing line of course which is a bit weird or something but we move on uh, he is 26 seconds now from the next car up and the car behind him has retired of course so things are not looking too great for Sam Marine in this race but I do uh, I do want to say that he, this is the first ever race in a bike series so for all his non non watchable fans uh, he needs to uh, get to grips in this series otherwise he is going to be last at every race like so there he has come off the bike days wobbled on the curb and he is off the bike but now he gets back on the course and uh, yeah he's back on track which is gonna be even further behind the cars ahead of him which is gonna be terrible for his reputation so we move on to lap 4 in this Grand Prix and as you can see uh, we are 36 seconds behind he has been given a long lap penalty something new in his world because he has never done a penalty of a long lap before so let's see if he takes the long lap no we don't he does not actually take this long lap but it is going to be interesting to find out if he does take it or not but I think we have got one more lap left of him go around this race track which is gorgeous weather in the uh, in the desert he's taking that corner really really sweetly of course but now what else can he do here can he do this corner sweetly he does do it sweetly but obviously this means little to no difference of his pace of course going ahead on track so so so, so. He is actually, he's slowing down. Is, is, what's wrong with him? He's slowing down. Oh, this is terrible for his race. He has actually slowed down due to the lack of fuel in his bike. This is terrible news if you're a fan of Sam Marine. His first race in a bike series and he has gone out of fuel and he well, is not happy with that and that is that Let's for his race and that is that for this race uh, Sergio Gates. Garcia has took the victory here around the Barwa Grand Prix of Qatar so yeah it is gonna be interesting to find out what happens next thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time